Howdy, Eric Stoff here at the Peru Tribune. I'm here to tell you a little bit about some stories you'll be able to read in our Monday, March 17th edition of the Tribune or online in a mere matter of hours. Our lead story comes from my pal Chad Abshire, who wrote about TRICARE and how health care changes for present and past military members may, have, may affect thousands of veterans. And Chad talked to Miami County Veterans Service Officer Jay Kendall about it. And our display story was written by me and my attending the Lincoln Day Dinner Saturday night at the Miami County 4-H Community Building. I got to hear from U.S. Representative Jackie Walorski, uh, Secretary of State Connie Lawson, and other local Republicans such as uh, the Miami County Chairman Ethan Manning. And I also wrote a brief about a Lafayette man who was arrested on charges of battery in the presence of a minor Saturday at the Knights Inn. Uh, but on a lighter note, I was able to write a profile about an Amboy woman, Nikki Peer, and how recent trials of her husband's health have transformed her life. It's actually one of my favorite stories I've been able to write here in my time at the Tribune, and it's uh, really touching. It looks like we also have a story coming our way from Frankfurt about uh, job, inter job interview etiquette uh, from the Frankfurt Times editor, Scott Cousins. Chad also contributed a business story for tomorrow's paper. He wrote about Breakaway Bike and Fitness celebrating 25 years in business, so kudos to them. And for sports, Nick Roby has two articles coming your way. One is on the Miami County Girls Basketball Player of the Year, and the other is on the All-County Girls Basketball Team. And he says he also has a brief about the Indiana All-Star Wrestling Meet, which is going on currently. And that's what you can read for yourself here in a matter of hours when our content goes online. Uh, my name is Eric Stoff with the Purdue Tribune. Have a great day.